The Joint Security Forces in Karamoja sub-region this week intensified their intelligence by cordoning and searching areas across the nine districts of Karamoja. Joint Security Forces of Uganda Police and Uganda People's Defense Forces were deployed to intensify the disarmament process in Karamoja sub-region. However, since their deployment, there have been several complaints of human rights abuse by area locals and leaders. Some leaders have blamed soldiers for using a lot of force while conducting this main process, which has since not spared even the innocent ones. Moja district. The, the soldiers are annoyed because they have been uh, they have been up and down, moving, following Futuma, and you know some of them they have lost their life because of this uh, insecurity. So I think now they are, they are feeling it. So that's why now when they are coming for this Gordon and such. Recently, like yesterday, there is one boy who was shot. I think the boy was captured and he tried to run away. The guy was shot in the head, he died. And even uh, the following, like two days ago, the Gordon and such was, uh, was operated in Lopur. Uh, that animal also was uh, shot also in the high, that one is. LC5 chairperson David Koryang and other leaders have accused human rights observers for being silent when innocent people are suffering. Of course now when they when they try like to you know to, to interrogate somebody. For us here in Karamoja minus a stick, minus caning somebody. Now now nobody somebody cannot tell you where their gun is. But now when somebody is caning or pain slowly, human rights. Human rights will come to observe. Observing disarmament when people are dying, I think to me I am one person with the, the biggest question to ask human rights. The time these thieves are killing and stealing people's property, where is the human right? But when a solution is thought to help an answer, to, to quit off what is causing a problem, then you come in. Then the promoter of insecurity, if it, 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 according to me, it can be the human right. The UN Human Rights and Uganda Human Rights Commission have on this note moved to train 40 UPDF soldiers from 450th Brigade on characteristics and principles of human rights during disarmament operations. The deputy representative at UN Human Rights Office, Grace Pelly, cautioned the security forces against abuse of human rights while carrying out their operations. Um, share it with your colleagues, your teams, and you'll do your part in closing the gap between the theory of human rights and its practical application in Karamoja and beyond. The third division commander, Brigadier General Joseph Balikodembe, says it's only court to judge the acts of wrongdoers. And whoever commits an offence or violates human rights must be, not should be, but must be arrested and answer the charges of violation of human rights. We are aware that in Karamoja there are some groups that have taken it amongst themselves that they are untouchables, they are hardcore criminals, but still they need also their rights and they will get their rights through the courts of law. Bali Kudembe adds that they are going to ensure proper observance of human rights while carrying out operations and called for continuous training of soldiers. You can see flash a message that as they see these graduates of human rights reach wherever to touch they are, that they just give them space, give them fora to keep talking to soldiers. We shall not have issues. And as a professional army, we need to take it very carefully and we make sure that we handle the situation and we put it to the level we want it to be. The three-day training was attended by commanders at Platori, Battalion and Brigade levels and political commissars, among others. I'm Navka Farida and Moriniga.